Hi everyone, in today's video we're talking about magnesium. And when you think about what magnesium does, its primary roles really is to help the other electrolytes do their function. So magnesium is critical for moving potassium across membranes, sodium across membranes. So magnesium helps the other electrolytes do their job. A normal mag level, uh, 1.3 to 2.2 milliequivalents per liter. Here's the rub. Half of the magnesium in your body is in your bones. The other half is attached to albumin uh, in the extracellular space. So, uh, only about 1% of the magnesium is free floating um, and available. So it's very, very hard to get an accurate total magnesium uh, level in the bloodstream. Very hard to do. Starting with hypermagnesemia or a high mag level. How does this happen? Well, the magnesium can't get out. So your renal patients, you're going to see this in. Uh, patients that maybe have been ingesting a lot of magnesium. Milk of magnesia, magnesium. Uh, so it's a base here used as an antacid. So if they adjusted too much of that, you could develop uh, hypermagnesemia. Now, hypomagnesemia? Okay, this appears in 11% of all hospitalized patients, and I think uh, the reading was 65% of all critical patients in the ICU. So low mag levels, we gotta watch for that. Okay, so what can cause a low mag level in someone? Uh, they're not taking their mag in. So malnutrition, starvation, alcoholism is associated with it. Uh, GI loss can also contribute to it. Um, so we're gonna watch the mag level. Symptoms of a low mag level. Uh, you can get some twitching, fasciculations in the hands, muscle tremors, uh, some fatigue. Uh, so you're gonna watch for that. Now with hypomagnesemia, uh, you can't see some ECG changes. Uh, you can see a prolonged QT interval, prolonged RR. Uh, progressing to a flattened or even inverted T wave. So there are some uh, ECG changes with a low mag level. Now, when you look at the causes of a low mag level and low calcium, a lot of it is intake and nutrition. A low mag level by itself in a patient is usually asymptomatic, but as it gets worse, it can show signs similar to hypocalcemia because that's what's going on. For example, tridosine. Uh, if they have a low mag level, you uh, blow up the blood pressure cuff, they develop these cramps uh, that also indicates an accompanying hypocalcemia. So MAG by itself, uh, kind of asymptomatic. Again, it's just effects in its relationship with the other electrolytes in the body. Now, treatment for uh, hypomagnesemia, of course, is to replace the magnesium, follow your local protocols, uh, but we just have to replace that MAG. This has been a quick review of the electrolyte magnesium. My name's Mark, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.